All right. Kept promising you guys that I would make this video, and now I am making it. I <laughs> hope it goes well. We'll see. We've got 13 packs to open. We are going to go through them. The Theros Beyond Death uh, expansion. Let's see. Nope. You already know I don't really care for playing black decks, so already this one's kind of meh. I don't really care about red or black, but we do have some blue, so that's good. And we have a white. I do really like the artwork on this one. Reminds me of... Is it Demeter, the goddess of harvest? Okay, anyway. Underworld Charger can't block. That's lame. Exile three other cards from your graveyard to escape... Escape, you may cast this from your graveyard for its escape costs. Escapes with two plus one plus one counters on it. So it ends up being a 5-5, five five, so that's pretty cool. Star creature gets negative four, negative zero until end of turn. Exile. Black cards are full of that. Deny the Divine. That is a really nice artwork. Counter target creature or enchantment spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile it. The <laughs> Eidolon. I believe, of philosophy. I like that card. Sacrifice it, draw three cards. Alright, moving forward with the Triumph of Annex. Until end of turn, target creature gains Trample and gets plus X plus zero, where X is the number of lore counters on Triumph of Annex. Alright, so as this saga enters, and after your draw step, add a lore counter. Sacrifice after four. Target creature you control fights up to two, up to one target creature you don't control. The life bounty, I'll seed of life's bounty. God's light, it has, it has, it's God's, it has life link. <laughs> um, pay one mana, sacrifice. Target creature or enchantment you control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. That's pretty good. Alright, what's our special one? It's a red one. Legendary enchantment creature. Gives devotion to red. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to red is less than five, Perforos isn't a creature. That's pretty important for like different spells, say like creatures you control or creatures you don't control, or like destroy like exile target creature. Less than five devotion. It's not a creature, so you can't exile it. Other creatures you control have haste. Play three mana. You may put a red creature card or an artifact creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. That's a lot like the Elvish Piper, except for you don't have to sacrifice it. Alright, next one. We got more red and black. At least we got a green. Omen of the Hunt. That's a very pretty card. When Omen of the Hunt enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. I dig it. You can sacrifice it and scry too. Omen of the Dead. There's a lot of omens so far, it looks like. Underworld Dreams. Okay, Omen of the Dead. When Omen of the Dead enters the battlefield, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Alright. Sacrifice it and scry. Sacrifice another creature or an enchantment. Scophos. Scophos. <laughs> I want to say Scophosis, but Scophos, war leader, gets plus one, plus zero, and gains menace until end of turn. Menace means it can only be blocked by two or more creatures. Portent of Betrayal. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. That's pretty dope. Steal somebody's creature. Flummoxed Cyclops. It's a. Is that his head turned? Oof. That kind of. <laughs> Makes my neck hurt the way he looks. Alright, reach. Whenever two or more creatures your opponents control attack, Flamox Cyclops can't block this combat. Fateful End deals three damage to any one target. Scry one. It's like Lightning Bolt, it's uh, just leveled up. Underworld Dreams. Whenever an opponent draws a card, Underworld Dreams deals one damage to that player. That is a fucked up enchantment. Do that against a blue deck. That'd be dope. Alright, Storm Herald. It's got pretty, really pretty artwork. 
When Storm Herald enters the battlefield, return any number any number of aura cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to creatures you control. Exile those auras at the beginning of your next end step. If those auras would leave the battlefield, exile them instead of putting them anywhere else. Alright. Moving on. This video is going to go up unedited, so you get to hear all my stumbles and stutters. This is going to be probably the only one I upload unedited. We'll see though. Alright, Plummet. Destroy target creature with flying. It's always a good card. Karametra's Blessing. Instant. Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If it's an enchanted creature or enchantment creature, it also gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. That's awesome. Final Flare. I like that artwork. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature or enchantment. Deals five damage to target creature. Nyxborn Marauder. It's a nice background artwork as well as the overall colors are pretty aesthetic aesthetically pleasing. Sun Main Pegasus. Flying. Pay two mana. Gets Vigilance and Lifelink until end of turn. That's a good card. Lagana Band Storyteller. When they enter the battlefield, you may put target enchantment card from your graveyard on top of your library. If you do, you gain life equal to its converted cost. Favored of Iroas, I think. Iroas. You can comment below on any of my messed up pronunciations. Put some phonetic spelling down there for me. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, favorite of Iroas <laughs> gains double strike until end of turn. What's our special card? It's the Temple of Enlightenment. Dual colored lands are so expensive when you buy them in real life. <laughs> Temple of Enlightenment enters tapped. When it enters, you can scry one. Next pack. We are chugging along. All right. Sleep of the Dead. Poor Cerberus. Tap target creature. It doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Escape. You can bring it back from the graveyard. <clears throat> Wings of Hubris. Gives your creature flying. You sacrifice him. Creature can't be blocked. Sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step. Final death, just kills the creature, or exiles a creature. Venomous Hierophant, death touch. When Venomous Hierophant enters the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into your graveyard. It's pretty cool. Then another Eidolon of Philosophy. Anax, Anax, Anox, whatever. Hardened in the Forge. Power is equal to your devotion to red whenever... He, or another non-token creature you control, dies. Create a 1-1 one red satyr creature token with this creature can't block. If the creature had power of 4 or greater, create 2 of those tokens instead. Alright, so uncommon wild card. We just redeem it later, so it's going to go over here. And we got the first of the Iroan games. It's pretty cool. It's a saga card, so I, I really like these saga cards. Although the artwork reminds me of the Disney uh, Hercules. I know it's like all Greek artwork is similar to that, but that's just where my brain goes. <laughs> Create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Okay, put three 1-1 one, one counters on target creature you control. If you control a creature with power 4 greater, draw two cards or create a golden token. That's pretty awesome. Next. Got another omen and another wild card. Let's go. Indomitable will, flash, means you can cast it anytime. Enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus one, plus two. Omen of the dead, we already got that one. Omen of the sun, when omen of the sun enters the battlefield, create two one one human soldier creature tokens, you gain two life. You can sacrifice it and scry two, we got one of those already. Careless celebrant. When Careless Celebrant dies, it deals 2 damage to target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. 
Drag to the Underworld. That's a pretty cool card. This spell costs whatever. Less to cast for X is your devotion to black. Destroy target creature. Enigmatic Incarnation. Now I like blue-green decks. Especially the blue-green merfolk decks. Enchantment. At the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another enchantment. If you do, search your library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to 1 plus the sacrifice enchantment's converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield and then shuffle your library. Proceeding. Alright, next. Alrighty, let's see. These look like all new ones. Starlit Mantle. Flash. Enchant creature you control. When Starlit Mantle enters the battlefield, enchanted creature gains hexproof till end of turn. Enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one. Arena Trickster. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on Arena Trickster. Pretty useful. Oread of Mountain's Blaze. Very pretty nymph creature. You pay three mana, discard a card, draw a card. Leonin of the Lost Pride. Cat Warrior decks are pretty cool. They build up on each other pretty well. When Leonin of the Lost Pride dies, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. Scavenging Harpy. Flying. When Scavenging Harpy enters the battlefield, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. Thundering Chariot. First Strike, Trample, and Haste. That means it hits before they get hit. Can it overpower their toughness and hit the person if their toughness is less than their attack. And it can attack right away with no summoning sickness. Elspeth's Nightmare. I love Elspeth. One of my favorite Planeswalker storylines to follow. Destroy target creature and opponent controls with power 2 or less. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. Exile target opponent's graveyard. Okay. Clothis, God of Destiny. I like the God cards. Indestructible. As long as your devotion to red and green is less than 7, not a creature. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a land card, add red or green mana. Otherwise, you gain 2 life, and Clothis deals 2 damage to each opponent. It's a great card. Only 3 mana. Look, we got a common wild card. We fulfilled that. So, going forward. Memory Drain, counter target spell, scry 2. Underworld Rage Hound. They like to use Cerberus in their artwork, don't they? Underworld Rage Hound attacks each combat if able. He can escape from the graveyard, and if he escapes, he gets a plus one, plus one. That's an ugly face. <laughs> well drawn, though. Enchant creature you control. When Aspect of Lamprey enters the battlefield, target opponent discards two cards. Enchanted creature has lifelink. Thirst for meaning. Look at the guy. He looks so sad. Draw three cards. Then discard two cards unless you discard an enchantment card. Mirror shield. <laughs> Poor Medusa. Equipped creature gets plus zero, plus two, and has hexproof. And whenever a creature with death touch blocks or becomes blocked by this creature, destroy that creature. We already have it a favored of Eroa's. Eat to extinction. Whoa. Look at that mouth. Exile target creature, a planeswalker. Exiling a planeswalker. That's pretty wild. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. We already had Venomous Hierophant, Elysian Karyatid, Car whatever. <laughs> add one mana of any color. If you tap it, if you control a creature with a power four or greater, add two mana of any one color instead. Alter the Pantheon. I like this one. Your devotion to each color and each combination of colors is increased by one. Add one mana of any color. If you control a god, a demigod, or a legendary enchantment, you gain one life. Revoke existence. Yes. Exile, target artifact or enchantment, triumphant surge, destroy target creature with power 4 greater, you gain 3 life. Clothis' design, creatures you control get plus x plus x until end of turn, where x is your devotion to 
to green. Dawn of Angel. Whenever a creature dies, if an aura you controlled was attached to it, return target creature card with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to your hand. Got Elspeth Conquers Death. Yes, she does. Every time. <laughs> Exile target permanent with an opponent controls with converted mana cost 3 or greater. Non-creature spells your opponent cast non-creature spells your opponent's cast costs 2 or more to cast until your next turn. Return target creature or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield plus +1 plus +1 one, plus one, or a loyalty counter on it. That's awesome. Moving forward. Let's hope we get a guard for a gold guard. A gold card. <laughs> Just put them together, make them one. For a rare wild card. Alright, Arena Trickster, already had that. Lampad of Death's Vigil. We're doing pretty good. We're not getting a lot of um, consistent duplicates, so that's that's pretty good. Lampad of Death's Vigil. Sacrifice a creature after you play one colorless mana, or mana of any color really. Each opponent loses one life, you gain one life. Final death. Skola Grave Dancer. Whenever a land is put into your graveyard from anywhere, you gain one life. Put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Now, these are both... That's a common and that's an uncommon. Minions Return. Flash. Enchant Creature. When Enchanted Creature dies, return that card to the battlefield under your control. So that's a good one where people will do, you know, combo it. They'll put it on your creature and then they'll kill your creature with like a murder. And then they get it under their control. So, like, if you have, like, say, a World Wake Worm out there, that would be horrible <laughs> for them to get a hold of it. Alright, Mantle of the Wolf. It's a nice one. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus four, plus four. When Mantle of the Wolf is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, create two, two green wolf creature tokens. And next pack. We are just chugging along. Trying not to make this too long. But it might be kind of long. That's okay, though. Alright. Meyer's Grasp. Oh, look at for it. It looks like a Johnny, but it might just be a random cat soldier. Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets negative three, negative three. Satessin Training. Enchant Creature you control. When Satessin Training enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus zero, and trample. Oriad of Mountain's Blaze, we already had. Indomitable Will, I believe we already had it, but just in case, Flash, Enchant Creature, Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus two. For those of you who are new to magic and might be watching this, the first number is your power. That's how much attack you have. The second number is your toughness. That's how much defense you have. Now, Dreadful Apathy, Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature can't attack or block. Pay two mana of any color and a plains exile enchanted creature mystic repeal put target enchantment on the bottom of its owner's library that would be nice for a lot of black decks underworld fires when underworld fires deals one damage to each creature oh not when they do <laughs> deals it to each creature in each planeswalker if a permanent dealt damage this way would die this turn exile it instead heliod's intervention Choose one. Destroy X target artifacts and or enchantments. Or target player gains twice X life. Man, if that had Convoke, oof, GG. Alright, here we go. We have this, we have this. Grim Physician. Let me take a deep breath. Okay. <laughs> if you're watching this, go ahead and take a drink of water for me too. Okay? Grim Physician. When Grim Physician dies, target creature and opponent controls gets negative one, negative one until end of turn. Nylea's Forerunner. It's like pretty but diseased. <laughs> that's like that zombie deer disease that's going on right now in uh, Nevada. Is it in Nevada? I think it's, it might be actually in like Utah. And like Nevada's trying to keep it out. <clears throat> anyway, Trample. Other creatures you control have Trample. That's a great card. Irreverent Revelers. When Irreverent Revelers enters the battlefield, choose one. Destroy target artifact, or they gain haste until end of turn. Blood Aspirant. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a plus one, plus one counter on Blood Aspirant. Pay one colorless mana, a mountain, and tap it 
Sacrifice a creature or enchantment. <laughs> That's a lot. Blood Aspirant deals one damage to target creature. That creature can't block this turn. Sweet Oblivion. Target player puts the top four cards of their library into their graveyard. And that has escape as well. Wave Breaker Hippocamp. I'm a fan of this artwork. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, draw a card. Right? We are almost through these packs and this video. Thank you for sticking with me this long. I know it might not be necessarily too interesting, but at least you get to see the things that are coming out of the boosters. I know I like to see those because you don't want to just buy them and then get you know cards that aren't worth anything. Anyway, we're going to say this word. <laughs> Ichthyomorphosis. Ichthyomorphosis. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we tried. We made an effort. That's what matters. Looks like that fish that's getting messed around on that one video, doesn't it? Enchant creature. Enchanted creature loses all abilities and is a blue fish with base power and toughness. Zero, one. It's like turn to frog, but you become an ugly fish. And you don't get one attack. Bronze sword. Now... My favorite artifact equipments are definitely like the swords that they made. I don't remember which X pack that came out in, but like the Sword of Feast and Famine and like those kinds of ones. Those are awesome. They did so much stuff. It was crazy. This guy, he gives you plus two. That's still good. Memory Drain. Counter Target Spell. Gain Scry 2. We have this card already. Brine Giant. The spell costs one less mana to cast for each enchantment you control. Stern Dismissal. Return target creature or enchantment to its an opponent controls to its owner's hand. So that's like unsummoned but with prettier artwork. And it's for a creature or an enchantment. Unsummoned's just for creatures. Hydra's Growth. Enchant creature. When Hydra's Growth enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on enchanted creature at the beginning of your upkeep double the number of counters on enchanted creature that's crazy Thassa's intervention choose one look at the top x cards of your library put up to two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order counter target spell unless its controller pays twice x rip Okay, we're on the last one, and we got another common wild card. Pretty cool. All right, Incendiary Oracle. Pay one colorless in a mountain. They get plus one to their power. If creature dealt damage by the Incendiary Oracle, this turn would die. Exile it instead. We already had this one. We had this one. We had this one. That is a beautiful card. Eutropia the Twice Favored. You'd think almost that'd be like a Planeswalker card. Anyway, very lovely art. Constellation. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. That creature gains flying. Heroes of the Revel. When Heroes of the Revel enters the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one red satyr creature token with this creature can't block. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Heroes of the Revel, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. What's our super special last card? Let's find out. The Acroan War. Gain control of target creature for as long as the Acroan War remains on the battlefield. Until your next turn, creatures your opponents control attack each combat if able. Each tapped creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. Alright guys, that is all of the packs for today. I bought as many as I could before doing it, just so I could make sure I got them all out. I want to thank you so much for coming and watching this video. I'm going to make another video soon of drafting a deck and how I build them. If you have any comments, please put them below. And as always, you can follow us on Twitter at Sisters. Thank you and have a great day.